In the contested waters of the Indo-Pacific, a new chapter is unfolding for the Philippine Navy. The BRP Datubago, also known as PS-39, is poised to join the fleet, bringing with it renewed hope and capability for the nation's maritime defense. This state-of-the-art corvette represents a significant leap forward, not just in technology, but in the confidence and resolve of the Philippines to protect its maritime interests. The arrival of the Datu Bago signals the dawn of a new era, where the Philippine Navy stands ready to meet the challenges of a rapidly changing region. As tensions continue to simmer in the West Philippine Sea, the Datu Bago is more than just a new ship in the fleet. It is a powerful statement of intent. Its presence sends a clear message. The Philippines is determined to defend its sovereignty and uphold its rights in these vital waters. The ship's name pays tribute to Datu Bago, a legendary 19th-century chieftain who bravely resisted colonial rule. By honoring his legacy, the Navy connects today's mission to a long tradition of Filipino courage, resilience, and the unyielding spirit to protect the homeland. For decades, the Philippine Navy operated with aging vessels, often struggling to patrol and secure the country's vast exclusive economic zone. These limitations left gaps in maritime security and made it difficult to respond to emerging threats. The commissioning of the Datu Bago begins to close that gap. With advanced sensors, weaponry, and improved endurance, it provides a credible and modern presence in contested waters, enhancing the Navy's ability to safeguard national interests. Its arrival marks a pivotal shift from a force once focused mainly on Coast Guard duties to a Navy now equipped with real deterrent power. The Datu Bago will participate in joint exercises, patrols, and missions, strengthening the country's maritime security posture. Together with its sister ship, the BRP Conrado Yap, the Datu Bago will anchor the Philippines' anti-surface and anti-submarine capabilities, forming the backbone of a modern naval force ready to face new challenges. More than just a warship, the Datu Bago embodies national pride, unity, and a steadfast commitment to defend Philippine sovereignty in a complex and evolving geopolitical landscape. As it sails into service, the Datu Bago is set to become a key player in safeguarding Philippine interests, contributing to regional stability and inspiring confidence in the nation's future at sea. The BRP Datu Bago stands as a significant achievement under the armed forces of the Philippines modernization program, specifically within the ambitious Horizon 2 phase. This vessel is not just a new addition to the fleet, but a symbol of the country's commitment to strengthening its maritime defense capabilities and ensuring the security of its vast territorial waters. Horizon 2 marked a pivotal shift in military priorities, moving the focus from internal security operations to a robust external defense posture. This change was largely driven by escalating tensions and ongoing disputes in the West Philippine Sea, where the need for a credible naval presence became increasingly urgent to protect the nation's sovereignty and resources. The acquisition of the former ROKS Andong from South Korea highlights a deepening strategic partnership between the two nations. This transfer not only provided the Philippines with a cost-effective upgrade, but also fostered greater defense cooperation and knowledge sharing enhancing the Navy's operational capabilities. As a Pohang-class corvette, the Datu Bago bridges the operational gap between smaller patrol boats and larger, more advanced frigates. This addition creates a more balanced and versatile fleet, capable of responding to a wide range of maritime security challenges and missions. The ship's design is particularly well-suited to the Philippines' unique archipelagic geography, allowing it to operate effectively across thousands of islands. It offers both the power and sustainability needed for extended missions, ensuring a persistent naval presence in critical areas. The Datu Bago is specifically tailored for long-duration patrols and is equipped for credible anti-surface and anti-submarine warfare operations. Its advanced sensors and weaponry enable the crew to detect, track, and respond to a variety of maritime threats, safeguarding Philippine interests. Experience gained from operating its sister ship, the BRP Conrado Yap, has provided invaluable training and expertise. This ensures a smooth transition for the crew and accelerates the path to full operational readiness for the Datu Bago. 
Ultimately, the acquisition of the BRP Datubego is a major step forward in the Navy's ongoing modernization efforts. It significantly strengthens the Philippines' ability to defend its national waters, project maritime power, and uphold sovereignty in an increasingly contested region. The BRP Datubego, a Pohang-class corvette, is a testament to modern naval engineering and the evolving capabilities of the Philippine Navy. Originally designed and built in South Korea, this vessel has been adapted to meet the unique needs of the Philippines' maritime defense. It is specifically built for littoral combat and agility, making it highly effective in the shallow and complex waters surrounding the Philippine archipelago. Its maneuverability allows it to respond quickly to emerging threats and patrol the nation's vast coastline with ease. Displacing about 1,220 tons and stretching 88 meters in length, the Datubego is perfectly suited for the Philippines' challenging maritime environment, where both endurance and flexibility are crucial for effective operations. Its advanced Kodog propulsion system, combining diesel engines for efficient cruising and gas turbines for bursts of speed, enables both fuel economy and rapid response, allowing the ship to reach speeds of over 30 knots when needed. With an impressive operational range of 4,000 nautical miles, the Datu Bago can sustain long deployments far from port, conducting extended patrols and supporting missions across the country's vast maritime zones. The ship is armed with a powerful 76mm Odo Malara naval gun, capable of engaging both surface and air targets with precision. Complementing this are 40mm cannons, which provide additional firepower and versatility during sovereignty patrols and defensive operations. The Datubago's design also includes torpedo tubes for anti-submarine warfare, enhancing its ability to detect and neutralize underwater threats. Depth charge racks further strengthen its area denial capabilities, making it a formidable opponent against enemy submarines. While the original missile launchers were removed prior to transfer, the Philippine Navy has announced plans to equip the ship with modern anti-ship missiles, significantly boosting its offensive reach. These planned upgrades will transform the Datubago into a formidable multi-role combatant, capable of taking on a wide range of missions from patrol to high-intensity conflict. With its advanced systems and weaponry, the vessel's technical edge marks a new standard for the Philippine fleet, symbolizing the country's commitment to maritime security and regional stability. The Datubago's strength lies in its advanced sensors and combat management systems. Its surface search radar and navigation systems provide real-time maritime awareness and precise targeting. A hull-mounted sonar gives the ship credible anti-submarine capabilities, a first for the Philippine fleet. The combat management system fuses sensor data, enabling rapid, informed decisions in high-pressure situations. Planned upgrades include new anti-ship missiles and enhanced electronic warfare suites. Secure communications will allow seamless integration with other ships, aircraft, and command centers. These systems elevate the Datubago from a patrol vessel to a true networked warship. The Datubago's main mission is in the West Philippine Sea, where it will patrol and assert Philippine sovereignty. Its endurance and firepower make it ideal for protecting fishermen, energy resources, and economic interests. The ship's presence deters harassment and illegal activities, providing security for vital maritime zones. It will also counter piracy, smuggling, and illegal fishing, supporting law enforcement at sea. The Datubago enables a more proactive defense posture, shifting from reaction to deterrence. As part of a networked defense, it works with other ships and monitoring stations to control key maritime areas. The vessel is a critical node in the Philippines' strategy to secure its waters and shift the balance in the region. The Datu Bago is a force multiplier, freeing up larger frigates for strategic missions and international exercises. Its sensors enhance fleet-wide maritime awareness, sharing data for a unified operational picture. The ship's ability to detect and track threats supports a networked approach to defense. Crew experience with advanced systems builds technical expertise for the Navy's future. The Datubago bridges the gap between legacy ships and next-generation warships. It also enables joint operations, providing gunfire support, air defense, and anti-submarine protection for the AFP. Seamless integration into joint frameworks boosts the overall combat power of the armed forces. 
the vessel is a stepping stone toward a modern, flexible, and capable Philippine Navy. The Datubago's impact extends beyond Philippine waters, strengthening alliances in the Indo-Pacific. Its capabilities enhance the Philippines' role as a credible security partner for the U.S. and regional allies. The ship enables joint patrols, exercises, and interoperability with navies from South Korea, Japan, Australia, and India. By upgrading its fleet, the Philippines contributes to a network of nations committed to a rules-based order. The Datubago supports ASEAN security, helping counter piracy, terrorism, and illegal fishing. Its patrols in the sulu Celebes seas bolster trilateral cooperation with Indonesia and Malaysia. The vessel signals Philippine resolve, complicating adversaries' calculations and strengthening deterrence. It's a key asset in the region's collective security architecture. Integrating the Datubago into the fleet brings challenges in maintenance, training, and funding. Sustaining a modern warship requires robust logistics, spare parts, and technical support from South Korea. The Navy must invest in training and retaining skilled personnel to operate advanced systems. Evolving operational doctrine is essential, shifting from constabulary roles to credible warfighting capabilities. Continuous exercises and cooperation with allies will refine new tactics and procedures. Consistent funding is vital, not just for new acquisitions, but for long-term operations and maintenance. The Datubago's full potential depends on national commitment to maritime security. Its success will shape the future of the Philippine Navy. The commissioning of the BRP Datubago is a milestone in the Philippines' quest for credible maritime defense. It embodies the nation's resolve to protect its sovereignty and secure its maritime future. With advanced systems and a modern mission, the Datubago is more than a warship. It's a symbol of national pride and strategic ambition. Its presence shields economic resources, deters incursions, and strengthens alliances across Southeast Asia. The vessel's integration will require overcoming challenges in sustainment, training, and funding. As the Datubago joins the fleet, it marks a determined step towards self-reliance and regional stability. The real test ahead balancing military modernization with diplomacy to secure lasting peace in a rapidly changing Indo-Pacific.